Hello everyone, welcome back to Juno New Origins where I'm going to retry the Sergeia orbit contract and get into orbit of Sergeia. It'll have to be a tight, mostly circular orbit and then come back. I don't know how much it's going to take to come back, we'll see, but uh, the mission last time was promising and I've made adjustments to our craft. So it says must be completed in 752 days and I'll just resume flight of the craft we currently have on Sergeia. And we are going to time warp to the window, and then we will proceed. So this is uh, potentially tumb tumbling down into that pit right there. Maybe if we come back to it later, it'll finally make the plunge into the lava. But anyway, <laughs> we'll, we'll set that aside for now. I think somewhere around there we'll do the trick. We'll see. Maybe it'll be a bit off. But yeah, we'll go with that. And now it says 600 days, plenty of time. We do have a lot of tech points available. I don't think anything will be applicable to this particular mission. I think I'll just get the management board so we get more contracts offered and new contracts. I think that's a good plan in general. I've extended the service module stage and adjusted the engines a little bit. But that's about it. And I guess we can just drag and drop. Yeah, apparently we can drag and drop druids into the pod. So I just did that. And does it say we have crew? I don't know. Power consumption 5.68 kilowatts though. That's just for the space capsule. So does that, is that because we have the crew in? Can I get the crew out again? Hold on, I just accidentally duplicated it. I don't know how to get the crew out again. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I'll, uh, I want a new command pod just to see the power consumption. I'm guessing that the power consumption goes up because we have crew. It's at primary. Okay, get rid of that one. Well, it must be the gyros. Oh, okay, I think it's just the gyro. So the druids, I guess, don't add power consumption? I'm not sure. Okay, well, I don't know if we're gonna get this druid back or not, but we'll find out some information. Let's just go with it. We might need more boosters. I feel like we don't have enough Delta V. Oh, so we're not getting the correct Delta V reading because it's not reading the core stage properly because of this weird staging that we have. So, um, Sergei Orbit, this one, yes. Okay. Uh, oh. oh, okay, not too quickly, not too quickly. Okay, we are on our way. Okay, core ignition. Might be a little bit late on that. Okay, booster set. Okay, separation. And I guess we have that fairing go as well. well. That'll be nominal. Astronaut wings. Okay, we've got a druid in orbit for the first time, so we got some tech points for that. Okay. So, progress? Question mark? Okay. Let us try to go over to Sergeia. I think I'll take that for now. It's not exactly what I want. But it's probably for the best. We have enough Delta V in this stage to do it, it seems. Maybe I can spend a little bit extra. I'm trying to make sure I'm slow over there. Okay, I think I'll take that approach and we'll go with this. We will go with this plan and I want to see the plan. Well, I think we should be going. Hopefully that's right. 
Okay, hyperbolic druid. Got a hyperbolic druid. Well, that's as close to the Delta V as I can get. So that's a lot of uh, tech points. Makes me feel like I should be packing some food, water, and oxygen for it, but... <laughs> for the druid. Uh, they didn't say anything about that. Okay, so... 127 meters per second. I don't know how close I want to get to it. I guess we might as well get as close as possible. If we stick a druid and leave it in orbit, they can't do anything to us, right? <laughs> they're not... They're not cute. I don't have to bring them back. Okay, I'll take that. Alright. Time warping... How's their battery? Battery's okay for now. Oh, oh, we went too far. It's probably not very... sensitive. Okay. Uh, that'll be good enough. Let's go over there. When we get into the SOI, we'll see how much it takes to capture into orbit. We've got about two kilometers per second in the service module stage. So we really don't want to spend too much to capture into a circular orbit. Certainly not 3.48 kilometers per second, but it won't be that much. Okay, so now that we are in the SOI. And then we have to get back home though. That's about one kilometer per second. But the atmosphere is pretty thick, so we probably should stay about there. We'll try to get back home, but the first priority is filling the requirement. Our apoapsis certainly will be less than 310 thousand kilometers, but it was the eccentricity that I was most concerned with. And for that, we should probably be... I mean, we could be really, really high up and like barely capture, but I think this is probably for the best. Okay, there's Sergeia. Whoa, suddenly music. There's not a whole lot to tell me that this is a druid mission, as opposed to an undruid mission, except for the tech points occasionally popping up, though. Not even a little uh, crew one indicator somewhere. I could air break, but <laughs> uh, probably safer not to. Okay, here we go again for orbit. Uh, throttle. Okay, staging. Sorry it's in the dark, but we approached the way we approached. A little bit over 2.5 kilometers per second on this stage, as a matter of fact. So we should be well off enough to get back home. I beefed it up a little bit, I made it longer. Okay, well, it's satisfied with that. I'll take it then. I... Don't know about the relative benefit of being in a sl somewhat lower orbit. Or not, but uh, no, um, well, I guess we should save flight. We're gonna need to time warp, but we can time warp here. It's fine. Uh, I want to time warp to the window to get back now. I don't have it precise. I'm basically using the Venus equivalent as a judge. And I think we want Drew ahead by about 36 degrees. Just eyeballing it, that probably is about right. This is the first time I'm trying to come back home, right? Should be interesting. Ah, yes, uh, keeping the apoapsis up turns out to be a good idea. It's in the right direction. Oh, that's overdoing it. Timing seems okay. In fact, I'd say timing is very good. 
We could probably burn to get into orbit around Drew with the Delta V we have. But we can just see what happens when we plunge into the atmosphere. Okay, that will do the trick. I suppose they're not gonna give me a contract to come back from Sergeia and just come back from Sergeia so that we can start in Sergeia orbit, so I'm not even checking for that. Well, maybe I should check. Let's see, career. Now there's another Sergeia contract, Sergeia orbit contract, but yeah, we just did that, so we will pass on that for now. Okay. Yes, nothing too interesting as far as contracts are concerned. So, let's just head home and get some tech points. I don't know, do we get extra tech points for coming back? Hmm. Return from orbit of Sergeia. Looking quite volcanic like that. Of course, Venus seems to have quite a lot of volcanoes. Okay, and... well, that's close enough. Alright. Out we go. A brief stint here. Well, we time more. Do we? The, the Drood was hanging out for quite a while, probably. Alright, mid-course adjustment. I've been bad. I've been using the reaction wheel in the pod. Instead of the mob propellant. I carried mob propellant, though. I want to credit for that. Uh, but yeah. I should stop that. I should put the mob propellant on the pod. I'm sure we have margin for it. We've got a kilometer per second left. Well, wow, that's a really close approach. Eight kilometers. Well, that'll plunge us into the atmosphere for sure. I don't know if that's safe or not. I don't know what the altitude I should be aiming for, really. Well, let's just take that for now. It's certainly close enough for the time being. Okay, let's do this mid-course adjustment. Okay, we're already pointing in the right direction. Go. Okay, close enough for me. Yep, still impacting. Better give me some tech points for doing the whole round trip and everything. Or at least say something. <laughs> say something to me. First interplanetary trip with a druid. Uh, well, it's saying an impact there. Maybe we should go radial out just a little bit. I always go with 26 for some reason with these smaller planets. Uh, well, let's just RCS. We'll use RCS for once, maybe. Dip, dip. Oh, okay. No, that was too much. Uh, well, we could probably retro burn it. Well, we'll be dumping the service module, though. We could go around a couple of times, but... Yeah, let's let's go in instead. Okay, I'll use the mod propellant. Oh, wait. Using the mod propellant does that to things. <laughs> Forgot about that. There is a downside to that. Okay. Um, 28. Does that sound good? I think when we get close to it, I'll probably retro burn anyway. Okay. So Drew. Drew is there. Eye on it. And coming in. Okay, if I'm gonna use the fuel to retro burn to guarantee a capture. I'm going to have to keep an eye on the periapsis so that doesn't get too low. Here we go. Manually capturing. Just to be on the safe side. I don't think that's the local thrust weight ratio, is it, for Drew? Okay, uh, I'll take that. Worst case scenario, we're going through twice. Okay, we're probably close enough to dump the service module. Oops. And... 
Off it goes. Should have had some separation thrusters for that. Well, it got eliminated again anyway, so... No problems. Still coming in pretty fast. And there's heating. Wow, there's apparent heating effects. I did have this the heat shield on this, right? It doesn't look like it has a heat shield. Oh no, did I forget the heat shield? Or maybe when I was pulling- Oh, when I pulled the thing off of the space capsule, I forgot to put the heat shield when I put the- Because I, I swapped the space capsules and I forgot the heat shield. And I was still attached to the old space capsule. We've lost our first Drew. Dude. Oops. <laughs> Oops. No, we were so close, but a little swap because I was wondering about the battery power. Why is the camera still going like this, though? Oh, well. We could have done it. I just forgot the heat shield. But then again, the heat shield mass would have thrown things off a little bit. I don't know how heavy they are. It'll have reduced our delta V. But probably not by a whole kilometer per second. Well, our camera is still coasting along right here. Sort of romantic, but yeah, let's end flight. That's disappointing. I I goofed up. It's recover craft? Right. Well, we got some tech points. There's apparently no price to pay for destroying a druid. Direct feedback around the world. I mean, what's the benefit of gauges and toggle switches anyway? I guess we can just put them up like we've got the pitch and the throttle. But direct benefit I'm not too sure about. Efficiency 100 sounds good, right? Jet reverse thrust, different nozzle, new contracts. I think that's much more pressing. This is is this the last thing that actually says new contracts? I think so. Well, we'll get all our new contracts then. Yeah. You need ten control surfaces per wing? Wow. Sounds dangerous. Living above the clouds. You know. Well, hmm. Maybe maybe we should be building stations. Maybe it is time to try to assemble a station in here. Last my last experience with docking wasn't wonderful, but um we can try it. All right. We'll save the tech points for later, uh, depending on what I feel like I need, but yeah, maybe our next goal will be stations. I don't know if the career mode is going to tell me to build something like that. Ocean delivery. I've, I've heard of this one. Maybe we'll try that too. I'll think about it, but stations are definitely in our future. Anyway, with that, Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.